In this video, we'll be talking about the self keyword as it pertains to methods. As we talked about before, methods are sent to objects or classes in order to act upon them or get them to do something. We also said that inside of our class, we have access to the implicit local variable self. Because self is an instance of the class itself, it is also an object. In our last video, we learned that we have access to properties defined in our own header file, and that to access them, we should use the keyword self. In the same way, we can also call methods defined in our header file. However, instead of dot notation, we can use the method syntax, which uses bracket notation. In the bark a number of times method, so if we take a look at mbfdog.m, we can find this method, we see that we're using the self keyword to call the method name bark inside of another method. So the void bark method up at the top here is being accessed in the same class so because it, void bark was defined in MBF dog's header file, we have to use the self keyword to access that method. Let's take a look at another example of this inside of mbfviewcontroller.m. So I'm going to go to the header file, excuse me, first, and we're going to add another method, and we'll write void print hello world. We'll add a semicolon at the end, and just like before, we're going to copy this line. We're going to go to mbfviewcontroller.m, and we can scroll to the very bottom here, and I can insert this method name. I can remove the semicolon and add curly braces left and right instead. And inside of it, I'll simply write an NSLog statement so that we can make sure that the code inside of our print hello world method is evaluating. So we can write hello world. And now if I want to access the print hello world inside of view did load, and since we know view did load gets called when the view loads up, it's a perfect time to test this functionality. So at the bottom here, we're going to write self print hello world. And it makes sense to use the self keyword here because I've defined this method in this class's header file. So I'm in mbfviewcontrol.m. I define the print hello world method inside of my header file, mbfviewcontroller.h, and now I can access it using the self keyword. So let's go ahead and run this so we can see that it's printing out. And we see hello world prints out to our console. In our previous example for mbfdog.m, we use the self keyword to access the method bark. Here we use the self keyword to access the method print hello world. What if I wanted to call the method bark in the mbfviewcontroller.m file? Well, mbfviewcontroller.h did not define the method bark, so I have to first create an object or instance of mbfdog so that I can access that method because it's declared in the mbfdog.h file. I know there's a little confusing with all the files running around, but you'll get a hang of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these lines of code here from my dog bark a number of times all the way down to this bottom NS log statement here. I'm going to leave my self print hello world uh, statement in though. And what this is going to allow me to do is I can write some code here and I won't have a million print statements that are coming out to my console. We mentioned that we would need an object or an instance of MBF dog and luckily we've already created that and the variable name for my object or instance of MBF dog is my dog and we allocated it and initialized our object. So now to call the method bark, I can simply use my method syntax, which is our bracket syntax, and I can use at not self, but we're going to use my dog, and I'm going to call the method bark. And we see now that this is a valid method call. I can go ahead and run my program, and we'll see that woof woof prints out. So it's important to remember, if it's in your header file, use self to access it. If it's in another header file, you have to create an instance of that class which gives you an object, and then you can call a method defined in that header file on that object.